Hey, hi everyone. So today uh, I'm bringing a very interesting topic. Uh, basically, we'll see here how to set up a project for your selfhost.com developer edition org or a sandbox org using VS Code or Visual Studio Code. Let's see how we can do that. So first thing what we are supposed to do is uh, just go to terminal, create new terminal if it is not open. And the second thing what you are supposed to do is write, you know, press control shift and P. That will open the command prompt. Where what you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to select create project from manifest. Let's do that. then it will ask you to select a template so just select the first one standard template then it will ask you to give a project name you can give any xyz name so for this example i am taking let's say a uh, dev box then press enter now it will ask you to you know select a folder on your desktop what you can do is uh, you can either select existing folder or you can create a new folder in my case i'm just going to create a new folder and i'm giving this folder a convenient name let's say dev box and that's all just select that project what it will do is the selfos sfdx CLI will create an empty project for you. That means this project is not connected to your org or it doesn't contain any components or any metadata from your org. That means it's just created a simple project. Let's see. And if you remember, I was talking about, you know, both the developer edition org as well as the sandbox org that means if you know the developer edition orgs are connected through login.selfos.com but if you wanted to change it to a sandbox edition org what you want, what you can do is you can change it to test.selfos.com that's all but for this example we will consider only developer edition org so i am going to change this to login again instead of test and just uh, make sure you save this file once you are in your sfdx project.json file right click somewhere here in your window and or else no no uh, my bad what you can do is you again press ctrl shift and p this time you have to authorize your org with an existing account you see here there is no cloud icon over here once you authorize your org in the left hand side bar you will see a cloud icon here that means your org is connected to your instance let's do one thing what i can do is i'll click authorize an org and when you do authorize an org it is automatically taking the login.selfos.com from my sfds project json file from here okay so uh, just press the control shift and p again go to authorize an arc select the first one don't select production or anything just select the first one because this is how you configure in your uh, sfdx project.json file so select that here it is asking to give a name you can give any name it is not restricted to anything let's say i am giving the same name here dev box this is just for identification of self host it's create an alias kind of thing which is help which is helping self host or or i can say which is helping visual studio to recognize the connection just click on that
now you see because of the visual studio code login auth flow it prompted me in my browser window to provide the self host username and password and you see here the url is login.selfhost.com not test.selfhost.com because that is how you configure in your sfbs project.json file just click on login once you successfully logged in here just come back to your window again you will see that uh, you know authorization is successfully happened and and here is one more thing you can see there is a cloud icon here that means your org is now connected to salesforce the next thing what i can do is still now i do not have anything that means if i'll go to post app uh, i wanted to expand class or i wanted to expand lwc or object you will see nothing is present okay so those things we can extract through our package.xml file where this package.xml file present is that is basically inside your manifesto file in this manifest there is a package.xml just open that it's similar to the package.xml which you used for your eclipse or the ant script or any any kind of development purpose is just like your metadata tags which you wanted to extract if you let's say you don't want it to extract visual post pages you can remove this let's say you wanted to extract something which is not present in this file you can add that metadata component here that is how you can add or remove metadata which is supposed to be handled through vs code now once you are there in the package.xml file what you can do is just right click here and you will see there are two options deploy source in manifest org one more thing is re retrieve the source so in this case my project is empty so what i'm supposed to do is first of all i wanted to retrieve everything which is listed in my package.xml or which are listed in my package.xml okay let's do that i'll i'm going to click the retrieve option and remember it will take some time so it may take uh, two three minutes of time or it's basically depends on how much uh, configuration or metadata you are uh, trying to retrieve from your org so let's wait for that here i'm back again you can see uh, all those metadata are now retrieved from the org is saying that you know retrieve source from org successfully run so how i can check that i can go to my class folder i can see all the classes are present i can go to my aura folder i can you can see all those aura components are present i do not have lwc component in this org i can see my objects are present oh i didn't try to extract the object there are some visual post page, pages are there okay so let's say i wanted to uh, create a lwc component so what i can do is i can simply right click and create a lightning web component from here if i'll click a lightning web component it will ask me to give a name let's say i'm giving hello world lwc okay so it is asking me the location it is trying to store that component and it will take some time and you see that component got created in this component let's say i wanted to do something uh, i wanted to create a uh, track property i can i can do one thing let's say i can input a track and i can do something like <coughs> track 
track uh, my name and and here I can do connected callback this connected callback what I can do is I can do this dot my name is called to let's say cloud cloud developer that's all what I can do next is I can save this file I can go to my HTML I can create a paragraph here let's see and in this paragraph I wanted to put uh, that at oh sorry I'm I'm creating um, LWC component so exclamatory symbol is not required I can simply write uh, my name okay that's all so I can uh, do some indentation here of a readable ready perspective that's all and uh, uh, if you know that you know uh, you have to also change the configuration file that means you have to make this visibility is equal to true and you can simply set the target properties uh, for example where you wanted to show this lightning or component for now let's say i'm not doing anything i'll simply save this and what i can do is i last time you saw that i was trying to retrieve it this time i'm trying to deploy this source to the org. so let's click on this it will take some some 10 seconds or 20 seconds maximum not more than that yeah you can see that the source code is now deployed to your org one more thing I wanted to show you in Visual Studio Code or VS Code, this cloud icon. Let's say some of the components you have in your org but you have not extracted through your package.xml but you wanted to play with that. What you can do is you can simply click on this cloud icon. What it will do is it will try to extract all those metadata from your org and list out here. For example, uh, in my case, what what I wanted to do, I wanted to uh, let's say um, retrieve some Apex class which is not present in my project directory. I can take that and I can download that. I can either download one by one or I can do the entire list of classes directly from here. So if you do that, you can see that particular thing in your project directory. If it is not present, this is how let's say something you have missed out, you wanted to extract from your org. Later on, you can do it through this cloud org. I hope you enjoy this session. I think if you like this video and you wanted to see um, some kind of video like this, you let me know. I'll prepare and drop your comment feedback in the comment box so that it will help me understand what the next I am supposed to do. Thanks again. Thank you all. Bye-bye.